Hi guys, it's Rachel, one of the EPs from Mount Barker's clinic. Today I'm going to be running you through a few examples of some good strength exercises that we know are good for helping managing your insulin resistance type diseases such as type 2 diabetes and PCOS. So with managing blood glucose and insulin levels, it is really important that we do strength exercises that use large muscle groups just to help regulate those blood sugar levels. These exercises I'll run through today are ones that we can do at home, something up from three to five times a week or even every second day if suitable. So the first one we're gonna run through is our sit to stand or squat pattern. So for this one, just finding a chair at home, we have hands across the chest, sitting down onto that chair and then coming back up to standing. Once that feels a little bit easy, you can maybe just give that chair a little tap or even turn that into your air squat, so not touching the chair at all. And then to make that harder from there, you can even hold onto a weight or even just something heavy at home, whether that be a bag of flour or just whatever you've got around. Looking at that one, we wanna do about three sets of 10 repetitions. Cool, so the second exercise I'll run through are some lunges. So looking more at that single leg strength, maybe having a chair or a countertop nearby for a little bit of stability. We wanna take a step back, drop back knee down to the ground, coming up feet together, then that second side. So the further you send that leg back and the further down you go, the harder it's gonna be. So even just a small separation and a mini drop is a great place to start off. Again, we wanna look about three reps, three sets of 10 reps rather. All right, so starting to look at the upper body next, we're gonna do a row, so our horizontal pull action. I've got a band here. You can either wrap that around a post at home or maybe around a door handle, just finding something that works for you. We wanna start with those arms straight, pulling elbows back like we're trying to squeeze shoulder blades together, then let those arms go. So again, three sets of 10 reps. And then our last exercise to even up that pull, we're gonna look at a horizontal push. So a good starting point for this one is a wall push up. So finding a bit of space on the wall, arms a little bit wider than shoulder distance, taking a step back, coming onto those tippy toes, keeping tummy nice and drawn in, bend those elbows, bring body to the wall, and then pressing back up there. So using the wall as your starting point, once that gets easier, maybe you can look at doing this on a countertop or even a chair, just gradually lowering that incline to make that one harder. And once again, three sets of 10 reps is our go-to here. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully that's a little bit helpful just to get you started. If you were looking for a bit more individualized or a bit more extra challenge, more than welcome to come in and see one of us at one of the clinics and we'll be able to help you out. Thank you.